Hi there, I'm George from Green Feathers, and I'm here today to run you through how to set up motion detection notifications and recording schedules and alarm schedules within the third generation Green Feathers app and Wi Fi camera. If you haven't set your camera up already, go click the link to the video in the description, okay, for how to set the camera up. Once you've done that, come back here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is within the app is we're going to tap into the camera and we want to set up motion detection notifications. You can do this without a memory card inside and it will let you know when you've got visitors to your box. To do this, in the bottom right hand corner, you have the alarm. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to turn on motion detection alarm. Some cameras have got this turned on already as default. Well, then we're going to tap into alarm sensitivity and make sure that it's set to high. This is the setting we recommend for cameras within a bird box. At this point now, our motion detection is set up and we're going to get notifications all hours of the day. So what I'd like to do is I want to set up a schedule so that I only really get them during the waking hours. So into the schedule and I'm going to hit add and the first thing I'm going to do is at the bottom here it says motion detection and I want the motion detection alarm to be on. Okay, and I'm going to want it to turn on, I'm going to set it to 840. Okay, now I want to know that it's turned on, so I slide the notification across and I want this to happen every day of the week. So I select them all and now in the top right hand corner I'm going to tap save. So then every day now my motion detection alerts turn on at 844. The next thing I'm going to do within the schedule is at the bottom here we've got add schedule. I want to turn them off. So again at the bottom we have off and that's selected and the same thing, select a time, I'm going to choose 8pm at night, select all, let me know about it and tap save again in the top corner. So at this point when anybody visits the box between 8 in the morning and 8 at night I'm going to get a notification through my phone saying there's something moving in the box and then you can go and have a little look. The next bit that we're going to cover is about recording schedules. So for this we need to go back okay and from here at the home screen we tap into our camera and in the top right hand corner we go into the settings. As you can see here we've got storage settings because we've got the memory card inside and now what we're going to do is we want to make sure that firstly we've got local recording turned on, which we have. From here we're going to select the recording mode. Now I'm only really interested in recordings when birds enter the bird box, so I'm going to do event recording. This records on motion detection, so when there's a motion notification it will then record that event onto the memory card. Additionally to go with this, like with the motion detection, we can put an event schedule in. So then that way you're only recording what's going on. So if I want to have this say during the waking hours, I'm going to go from around about 7 a.m. It's going to turn on. And I want that to be every day of the week. I want to know about it and tap save. And in the same way, add a schedule, going to turn it off. And maybe I'm going to go a little bit later at night now, sort of when it starts getting dark, say at about 10 o'clock. Again, I want to know about it and I want it to be every day of the week. I then hit save. So now at around about 7 a.m. whenever there's motion my camera records and that goes all the way through to about 11 o'clock at night where it turns off and I've set that schedule inside my phone so I can see what's going on there and I've got really nice little recordings. With all of this set up you're now ready to go out there and really enjoy your camera and get the best out of it. If you have any more questions on how to set up our camera or how to use it with all the functions okay go take a look at our help website and thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to like and subscribe